The future of the house of God is a place where we are transformed to pursue growth over destruction. Our text today is leading us to a place and a moment of learning that the people of Israel are doing as they're sitting in their country surrounded by bigger countries that are ready to pursue war with them and to sort of bring them into conflict all the time. But what is what Isaiah is saying to the people of Israel, to the house of Jacob in our text, is that we as God's people are being pushed towards and asked to learn more instead that we should seek ways maybe of of peace of taking those tools of war and instead turning them into tools for growth and in that growth being transformed this week in advent we are we are thinking about love and love being embodied in the world and as we think about that and love being embodied in the world and what that means as love comes to us as Jesus Christ born on Christmas, we're seeing that that love is transforming us. And that as we learn more about Jesus, we are being transformed to not respond to conflict with war but instead have at within our grasp these tools of peace and maybe of of growth and love and taking care of each other and isn't that amazing now won't you pray with me god of the house of jacob and of all of our houses be with us this advent season as we prepare and wait for love come into the world. May that love in our lives transform us so that when we are faced with conflict and uncertainty in this world and in this year and in all situations to come, we respond with love and growth and help become part of your transformation in this whole world. In your holy name we pray, amen.